Are you new to cybersecurity and wondering how to get started? With cyber attacks on the rise, there's never been a better time to dive into this critical field. In this video, we'll guide you through everything you need to know to begin your journey in cybersecurity. Welcome to our journey from being a cybersecurity novice to becoming an expert in the field. In today's digital age, understanding cybersecurity is crucial. Whether you're looking to protect your personal data or considering a career in this exciting field, this video is for you. We'll dive into the essential steps, challenges and tips to help you succeed in cybersecurity. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss any new content. If you're looking for help or information on cybersecurity or any career advice interview tips, then this is the channel to follow. So let's get started with the basics. What is cybersecurity? Cybersecurity involves protecting computers, servers, mobile devices, electronic systems, networks, and data from malicious attacks. Common threats involve malware, phishing, and ransomware, and insider threats. Protecting personal and sensitive data is essential to prevent identity theft, financial loss, and breaches of privacy. So to kickstart a career in cybersecurity, you need to understand the fundamentals. Cybersecurity basics include understanding different types of threats like malware, phishing, and ransomware. Familiarize yourself with how these threats operate and the common tactics attackers use. So breaking this down further, we have malware, which could include Trojan, adware, or spyware. If someone downloads any suspicious files online, then a cyber attack may take place. So what are phishing attacks? Well, a phishing attack is a type of cyber attack where Attackers attempt to trick individuals into divulging sensitive information, such as usernames, passwords, could be credit card details, or any other personal information. This is typically done by masquerading as a trustworthy entity or individual in electronic communications. You then have ransomware. Ransomware is a type of malicious software, malware, that encrypts the files on a victim's computer or locks them out of their system, rendering the data or the device inaccessible. The attacker then demands a ransom for the victim to restore access to the data or system. So let's now talk about network security. You need to learn firewalls, VPNs, intrusion detection systems, IDS, and how to secure networks from unauthorized access. Now there's lots of information online about these, but let's break down firewalls. A firewall uses a set of rules to determine whether to allow or block specific traffic. These rules can be based on various criteria such as IP addresses, domain names, protocols, ports, or specific applications. Now, the primary function of a firewall is to inspect network traffic and decide whether to permit or deny the data packets based on these rules, therefore potentially blocking cyber attacks. I would then recommend learning about encryption and cryptography. Understanding the principles of encrypted data to protect it from unauthorized access and ensure secure communication. So what is encryption? Well, this is the process of converting plain text or readable data into an unreadable format called ciphertext. This transformation uses a specific algorithm and encryption key. The purpose of encryption is to protect the confidentiality of data by ensuring that only authorized parties can access and understand the information. Now, cryptography is the science and practice of securing communication and data through the use of mathematical techniques. It encompasses a wide range of methods and practices designed to ensure the confidentiality, integrity and authenticity of information. You then have access control. Study how to manage and control who has access to information within an organization. This includes learning about authentication methods, authorization and accountability. Now, risk management is another key area to look at. You want to learn how to identify, assess and prioritize risks, followed by coordinated efforts to minimize, monitor and control the probability or impact of unfortunate events. This brings us to certifications. Now, there are a wide range of different certifications you can study for and obtain in cybersecurity. And I do have other videos that go into this in a lot more detail. I'll leave those in the description below. However, I'll go through a few here now. 
you have the CompTIA Security Plus. This entry level certification covers essential principles for network security and risk management, making it a great starting point. You have the CISSP, which is the Certified Information System Security Professional. This advanced certification is highly respected in the industry and it covers a broad range of cybersecurity topics, including architecture, engineering, and management. You have the CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker. Now, this focuses on hacking techniques and tools and is designed to understand and counteract hacking activities. You have the CISM, which is the Certified Information Security Manager. This is ideal for those looking to move into management, focusing on managing and governing an enterprise's informational security program. You have the CCSP, the Certified Cloud Security Professional. Now, with the rise of cloud computing, this certification is valuable for understanding cloud security architecture design operations, and service orchestration. So once you've learned the basics, you've even possibly got a certification or in the process of, you need to gain practical experience. But how do you do this? There are a variety of ways, um, including internships. You can apply for internships at companies that focus on cybersecurity. This hands-on experience is invaluable for understanding real-world application of your knowledge. Possibly look at personal projects. Create your own projects, such as setting up a home lab. Experiment with network security tools. Simulate cyber attacks and practice your defense strategies. There are cybersecurity competitions. Participate in competitions like CTF, Capture the Flag. These competitions simulate real-life cyber attack scenarios and require participants to use their skills to solve problems and defend against attacks. Really recommend doing these. They're great. Look at volunteer work. Offer your services to non-profits or small businesses that may need help with their cybersecurity infrastructure. This can provide practical experience and build your portfolio. It not only helps them out, but it gives you a chance to practice your skills. It's a win-win. And you have online platforms like Hack the Box, Try Hack Me, and Cybery offer hands-on labs and challenges to practice your skills. So what challenges and conflicts may you face if you're starting out in cybersecurity? Well, for beginners it can be daunting. Often beginners will face imposter syndrome where you feel like you don't belong or you aren't skilled enough. There's overwhelming technical jargon. The field is filled with complex terms and concepts. There's continuous learning. Cybersecurity is ever evolving. It requires ongoing education and skill development. However, here are some strategies to overcome these challenges. Consider joining online communities Platforms such as Reddit, LinkedIn, and specialized forums, they offer support and resources that can be very valuable to you when starting out. Seek mentorship. Find a mentor in the field who can guide you and provide valuable insights. And stay updated. Follow industry news, attend webinars, and take refresher courses to always keep your knowledge current. Cybersecurity skills are vital in today's digital landscape. Now, with the right knowledge and determination, you can find rewarding opportunities in this field. Your journey to becoming a cybersecurity expert starts right now. If you found this video helpful, explore our other resources on cybersecurity. Consider pursuing a career in this exciting field and share this video with anyone who you feel may benefit. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you on the next video.